One of our main goals at Bellwin is to connect kids to nature. A lot of our city kids are afraid of nature. You know, there's a lot of our students that when they show up to Bellwin and they see the pine forest and they see the open prairie, they just haven't been immersed in that kind of a situation before. They're thinking about bears and wolves, which of course you find lots of in Minnesota, but not at Bellwin. They think of uh, even lions. Uh, they really think that lions live at Bellwin. It's our job to say that this is a safe place to be. One of the big goals uh, is to shift that paradigm from nature is scary and dangerous to something that can be familiar and exciting and uh, even familiar and comfortable. Bellwin is a huge like outdoor place, like full of nature. It's like science, but way cooler. It was like almost 100% nature. One of my favorite questions that I get at Bellwin is uh, students are always asking, is this real? And I'm almost always able to say yes. Uh, that what you're looking at is the real thing, it's the real deal. This isn't a picture in a textbook, this isn't uh, just a model of something, this is the actual bird's beak, or this is the actual bird's foot, or you're looking at, you're touching the actual feathers from this bird. Oh, I got a really good one. Each one of our classes, it doesn't matter if they're doing photography or birding or radio tracking or orienteering, they're all getting to how do animals and plants survive in there and how are they adapted to their habitats. Um, to, uh, and what kind of advantages do those adaptations give them? I, I was in the photographing group. Well, I was in photography. So I did birding. That's where we like observe and like learn about all different kinds of birds. We worked on like different styles of like picture taking. Well, we were talking about like different techniques and like what can we do. So like you could do close-ups, perspectives, yes. rules of thirds. We like focused on a lot of science, like outdoor science. May, our leader, kept t telling us like riddles or clues about an object. She said like, take a picture of something that birds eat that comes off a tree that help the tree reform itself. Cool. And that was a berry. You know, maybe 90% of what they're really learning and holding on to uh, and that they're walking away with is just some of those what we call informal observations. Just looking around and seeing, hey, what's that thing over there? And uh, What's that stuff over there? And uh, just those informal conversations as we're walking from site to site. You notice like different things. We saw a big flock of birds, which was really cool, because they're, they're really big birds. And uh, they're really cool. It, it was different than at home. And I learned like different things that I didn't know before, or I seen something that I didn't that I didn't see before. And so uh, it's really amazing in just a, a five hour field trip to watch students make this transition from, uh, from being afraid of nature and this is a, a different environment to um, that anticipatory excitement where they're excited and they're leaving saying, uh, and I'm, I'm just quoting students, but they say things like, this is like heaven, this is the best field trip ever, I wish I could come here every day, I wish I could live here. Those same students that were convinced that they were going to have to run faster than their neighbor or run up the tree or they had their whole escape plan uh, from scary animals all mapped out, those same students are embracing that, uh, that nature experience when, they, when they're leaving. My trip to Belwyn was fun. I recommend going to Belwyn and I really enjoyed it. Definitely, it's really fun there.